Meanwhile, today we heard from OSU President Ted Carter on Vance's vice presidential nomination. Yeah, Carter says it's a historic time for Ohio. NBC4 spoke to him one on one after he conducted a forum on the future of Ohio State today. Vance is an Ohio State graduate. But Carter also looked back on the past as he touched on Vance's historic nomination. Uh, we don't have an Ohio State graduate be nominated to be the, you know, uh, candidate for vice president. It's been since 1925 that we've had an Ohio State graduate in the vice president office. So, you know, we, we're excited that, you know, we have a grad that's uh, potentially in the running for that. So that's why we're, we highlighted that. Um, you know, as I mentioned, I'm apolitical and I get to stay that way, but he is a grad and it's really important. It's historic. By the way, the last vice president born in Ohio, also an Ohio State graduate, was Charles Dawes, who served with President Calvin Coolidge from 1925 to 29. Today, NBC4's Matt Barnes sat down with the president of The Ohio State University, Ted Carter, at a forum hosted by the Columbus Metropolitan Club. The two discussed many topics ranging from the cost of tuition to the numbers of enrollments at the school. Carter began his presidency January 1st of this year. Now, after just seven months in that role, he addressed a room full of Columbus community leaders, OSU faculty, as well as students. During the form forum, Carter said OSU is working to provide accessible and affordable education to both in and out of state students, citing that students receive an average of $10,000 in scholarship. Carter also touted the high enrollment expected this coming fall, despite declining national numbers. But when our student body shows up this fall, we think that we may be the largest incoming freshman class at our uh, Columbus campus combined with our regional campus that we've had since 1870. Largest ever. Carter says he's happy to see the city of Columbus is growing alongside the university and looks forward to continuing the bond between the school and the city.